Hi, I'm Russell Darty, and welcome to the Ocean View Farms Echo Adventure. We're gonna check out this community garden here in Santa Monica and see how people are gardening organically with no pesticides or artificial fertilizers. We're at the manure mulch area where uh, we take manure that's mixed with wood shavings and we shred it up even more than it is. And you can see here the steam coming out of it. And let's take a look at that. Okay, now that is some good manure. That's hot. Okay, and we give this to our worms and we spread it out on our gardens and it is the best stuff and it keeps the moisture in the soil. How do you have an organic garden? Well, you have to have a worm bin or a compost heap. And in that compost heap, you've got worms and earwigs and roly polies and centipedes. And they're just chewing away at all that organic matter, breaking it down into the initial uh, components uh, of nitrogen. Let's just open up this organic worm bin and check out the bugs. This is how it works. We have our greens and organic matter in the center. That stuff heats up. The bacteria are chewing away at it. Okay, that breaks down. It cooks it down. It cools down. The worms then come in to eat that. Okay, now on the outskirts it's cool and that's where all the worms are right now and they're just chewing away. Let's take a look at these worms. And uh, you see this, uh, these little things here? These are worm cap casings or eggs. And in here we have our worms. Okay, and there's lots of worms here. Look at them all. And they're just eating, eating the organic matter that we have here. Here we have the worm uh, castings here, okay, it's dirt. And here's an earwig. Here's a little earwig right here. Right, there you go. Okay, there he is, he's a baby earwig. And he likes to eat a lot of things too. And I got a bunch of earwigs on me as a matter of fact. Okay, now this is, this is ready to go into the garden and is very fertile, high in nitrogen, 3% nitrogen, just like you get in the fertilizer that you buy at the store. Here we are in the pathways of the garden. And what I've done on the pathways is I've dug out a trench, put all of my organic matter in here, uh, and manure and some worms, and I've covered it over. Now let's check out what we've got down below here. Okay, so here, we let's dig down into our pit here and see what we got. Oh my goodness, look at these worms. There's so many worms here. Okay, they love it. It's just like the compost heap, nice and moist. Okay, and then we'll take this earth later and we'll put it into the rest of the garden just like the worm bin dirt. Now we're at the beginning stage of our composting process. We have the woody stuff. We put the, we shred this separate from the leafy stuff. And then when we, we take it and mix it all together with manure in various layers and that begins the composting process where we create dirt by using bacteria. There are no worms involved in this. It's all bacterial. This is the beginning. We shredded all this material in the morning. Already, well, we, we put water into it, okay? And you can see that, and it smells pretty good, actually. It's got some mint in there. And uh, it's gonna start to decompose and heat up. Behind me are the composting bin. Here we are at the first stage of our decomposition process. We mix the green matter, green vegetable matter, with manure and water, and then we let it decompose. Then, after a month or so of decomposing, it cools down, we put it over here where it starts heating up again and decomposing some more. Then we move it to the third uh, stage over here where it decomposes for about another month, month and a half. And then we finally pitchfork it all into the fourth bin and let it decompose for another two months till it cools down. And we have dirt. So right here what we got is our uh, decomposed compost. 
This is the end product, and we have one, two, three, four bins that we put our compost in. And when we need our compost, we just dig right in, take this, and put it into our wheelbarrow. I'm taking you now to the Helen Bernstein Organic Garden, where I constructed two 250-gallon water tanks, which were hooked up to a timer and soaker hoses. I did this because we did not have a water spigot in the garden, and daily summer watering was a problem. The Toro timer pictured is the only one which will work for passive gravity-fed watering system. So this is our timer. It has a battery in here, and you can set it for 24, 48 hours, two hours, okay, however many minutes, 120 minutes. The timer opens the valve according to what duration and schedule you choose, releasing water to the soaker hoses and waters the garden. Voila. Here we have the fruits of our labor. This is chard. This is a, white, a yellow chard. This is a red chard. This is cress, this is garden cress. This is cilantro and our soaker hose. This soaker hose keeps everything very moist. The bugs love it and the plants love it. In addition, we're growing celery, red lettuce, green lettuce, basil, lemongrass, lavender, and rosemary as well. We just see more beauty of the organic garden with this beautiful sage in the background. And we also have uh, the prickly pear cactus with, and it's fruiting right now. So this place is, is full of abundance and uh, truly the land of milk and honey. Here we have companion planting of the uh, marigolds and lettuce. And then we get to our dinosaur kale here Looks like a dinosaur skin. Beautiful red cabbage. There's another variety of cabbage over here. It has more of a crinkled leaf. Very good for soups. And more lettuce, baby lettuce. Oh, yum. And check out these sunflowers. Aren't they beautiful? What a beautiful day to be walking around the garden. Beautiful sunflowers that grow year-round. Many fruit trees here. The blossoms. They start out kind of round and then they just open up. Now the end result of all of our efforts is that we grow beautiful vegetables which we can then grill. And you can also grill meats as well. As you saw with that beautiful little squirrel earlier, you could uh, cook some squirrel if you're really hungry. But you gotta trap them first. The key to sustainable organic agriculture is not killing the creatures that make the ecosystem work. Ocean View Farms is in its entirety a monarch butterfly way station for butterflies on their way to Mexico. It is also a habitat for all beneficial insects like bees, ladybugs, and other critters who make up the web of life of the garden and our planet. Thanks so much for joining me on this organic garden adventure at Ocean View Farms and Bernstein Senior High School in Los Angeles. Resources and links to other permaculture websites are available at the end of this program. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.